So do you got anybody special in your life right now? What do you mean? Like, like, like a, a girlfriend or anybody? Yeah, definitely. Been with my lady for about seven years now. On Halloween, we just passed, made it seven years. Seven years. So do you feel like it's important to have somebody by your side supporting your dreams and stuff like that? Yeah, because like, like I said, I was a, I was a high head back in the day. I used to scrap a lot, get in a lot of bullshit. It wasn't because of my fault, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, motherfucker, I can't tell you why motherfuckers don't like me. I went and got it myself. That's just how it is. What you say, they normally just don't like you. Like. You know what I'm saying? And she just kept me out of a lot of bullshit. Still keep me out of a lot of bullshit. I do understand that part. Do you see yourself ever getting married one day? Oh, yeah, yeah. I proposed this year. You know what I'm saying? I don't see... I don't see my lady going nowhere. So you feel like, yeah, that's definitely somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, definitely. So like, uh, a lot of people got a lot of tapes, man, and it's, what, what's your favorite tape you dropped and why? Uh, my favorite tape I ever dropped probably is The Gorilla Family. And why? That bitch just, I don't know, it probably the best out of me. I was in a different type of bag. <laughs> like, I was, it's, it's something about everything just, up on that motherfucker. You just feel like that's just the one right there. Yeah, that bitch the one. Where, where can they find your tapes at? Anywhere. iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. Any any place you can download music, YouTube, my shit is on there. So what's the favorite song you made and why? Uh, I don't got a favorite song, cause every time I do some shit, bro, it be it be my song for a minute until I do some more <laughs> shit. So, but if we if I had to pick one, I would probably say bounce back, cause that bitch just give everybody good back, good vibes. I mean, me and me and you drop that bitch, bro. We got so much love off that fucking song. Nah, it, I felt like that bitch should have had a million views it, the way the motherfuckers are sharing that shit, bro. Man, nah, it, it was that definitely made an impact on people too. You still got people to this day, and that we dropped that probably what two, three years ago. Two, three years. And people ago. still to this day have shared that video. Like that video got them through something. Like, yeah. like what was what was the meaning behind that? Like, just bouncing back from situations of. Yeah, I was at a point in time when I made bounce back where I felt like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I had just was up and took a stupid hell, so I was at the bottom again. And all the motherfuckers I thought I could call that was calling me for shit, I couldn't call them for shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got it, but y'all was just calling me for everything, you know what I'm saying? All right, it's straight. Uh, so when, by the time we made bounce back, I had bounce back from all that shit. I was back up again. So it made me feel like I got to tell y'all about y'all self and this shit. I mean, I'm gonna bounce back regardless. You feel like, me? Yeah, it's definitely. I bet y'all see me now, eh? Hey. Yeah, did. if y'all ain't saw bounce back, definitely go check bounce back out, man. That's that just like, one of the classes. That was like the first official video from Ski. Crazy video too, man. Have you ever thought about quitting music? If so, like why? I don't, I don't never think about quit music because I feel like any time can be my time. Like, and then they can go look at all my old shit. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna be rich forever off of all that shit. You know what I'm saying, man? So you I ain't never thought about quitting, but I do take breaks to try to figure out where I'm going wrong at. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. You get discouraged, but you just like, nah, I can't, yeah. I can't quit. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out this. You, like I said, I, I rap about anything, everything. So when I'm dropping, I done went on sprees when we didn't drop videos every two weeks for two months straight, three months straight. And it was I like, remember that. do y'all want it consistency? And I'll give y'all consistency. What, what else y'all want? So you like and I had to step back and. And study and study the results or study mm -hmm. just how it's going and see why I'm going wrong. Guy. That sounds like it, like a good method for sure. What inspired you to make music? My uncle Marco. He used to do all the music and like when he when he actually recorded us, uh -huh. I was like, damn, we made a song I'm like. I could do this shit, cause the rest of them, like we was in the group, me and his two sons, and they didn't continue rapping. I'm the only one that kept rapping. 
Like after a couple of years, they just like, all right, it ain't, gonna, it gonna ain't interesting to us, to us no more. But me, I'm like, nah, I love this shit. I can do this shit. And then he got to showing me how to record myself, and it was on from then. How would you describe the the music you typically create? As what struggle music, like motivation music. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, struggle motivation, both of them. Like. You can get some other shit out of me when I want to just show y'all some shit or when I just feel like, Be versatile. oh yeah, I like, I like this beat, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I really just try to get motherfuckers the music that get them through shit or make them want to go get some money or, you know what I'm saying, feel like they can make all the money in the world because that's the type of shit I like to listen to, you know what I'm saying? I like me. I like that type of I like of Jeezy, music. you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that tell you how to go get that shit. Have your music ever got you through any life situation? Yeah, definitely, definitely. All, all my music. I just say when you feeling when you feeling down or something, you just go listen to your music and just mm -hmm. it get you through that. It get me through that bump, that bump in the road. So what's your creative process like when you when you record music? Like, do you? Some people, you know, they gotta smoke, or some people they gotta drink. You know, what's your creative process? How I'm feeling at the time. I could write a song sober, I could write a song drunk, I could write a song hot. Huh? You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes you would get up in the bag, we like, all right, yeah. You would just get to freestyling and I'm like, hold on, man. That shit, I just did this shit today, you know what I'm saying? And now you freestyling about it and it sounds good, so now you like, okay, man, let me write this shit down. I gotta hop in the booth real quick. And that's. That's one of the best parts of uh, recording yourself where you can just be in the front, you know what I'm saying? You going through your options on the beats and you just freestyling and some shit come to you like, oh yeah, I'm finna write this shit down. And you, you just go right in the back, record. So you do record your own music? Yeah, definitely. Record myself most of the time, but when I don't record myself, uh, Dantel come over here and get me together. Y'all fuck with Dantel, he caught on the mix. How long did it take you to learn how to record on your own? Um, it like, took me like, a while, man. I was recording with my nigga Debo and them. We was little, you know what I'm saying? Make an out of town free call. That shit we listened to in high school. And Debo used to record us and I used to be like, bro, record me, bro, record me. Like, man, bro, you gotta do it yourself. Man. Bro showed me how to do that shit <laughs> on his program, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was different from what my uncle had taught me. We used different programs, so. You, you learn from everybody that got that program. So it definitely was tough to learn on your own, but you say it's probably the best thing that you can do. Yeah, it's the best thing you can do. It's, it's tough to learn, because I still ain't got it all the way down. Like I can get most of it down pat, but the shit that I can't do, I be like, all right, I'm gonna record a rough draft, and then, you know what I'm saying, listen to this until my engineer can get over here and get this shit how I want it. I think that's definitely like some most artists should learn to do is record on their own. Like, cause it could save you a lot of money. And like you said, you gotta if you got something on your mind that you want to write about, you can just write like you said, write it down and go straight back there and record. It. Sometimes you can write a song and you be in the mood, you gotta rap it right there. Or if you try to rap it later, it ain't gonna sound the same because you ain't have as much energy as you did when you was writing <laughs> the motherfucker. So that energy, you know what I'm saying, definitely. Definitely need yeah, to be there. Matter. So, do you like to collaborate with other artists? You know, there's like Rod Wave, he said he don't like to collaborate with most artists. He just feel they ain't real or they don't live what they rap about. Um, so. I don't I don't mind jumping on people's shit, but it ain't, it ain't too many people I'm gonna put on my songs because uh, we all rap about the same shit most of the time. I ain't gonna say I'm better than nobody, but most of the time, we ain't rapping about the same shit, so. You like, it's, that's really mad. I'm putting you on my song, I feel like, oh yeah, he finna rap about this, about this, so I'm finna put him on this bitch. If I put you on a song, like, is you gonna be rapping about some whole different other type of shit, or you gonna be rapping mm -hmm. about gotta, what we rap about, like? A lot of people don't know how to stand in lane when you get them on the song, so you gotta, you gotta get, be selective. You gotta songs for people. When a lot of motherfuckers hit me up, I feel, I feel, you know what I'm saying, blessed, because. I ain't finna turn nobody down up in my city. We all still in the city. And a lot of the times they be wanting me to jump on some shit that don't be my style. So I get to jump on my element. 